Hi, I'm Mike from Craft Supplies USA, and today we're going to turn a keyring lighter. These lighters are perfect for everyday carry. They accept standard lighter fluid and feature replaceable flints that will last for a very long time. They fit easily in your pocket, and you can turn two kits out of a single pen blank. Today I'll be using an oak blank cut from a whiskey barrel, and the natural finish we'll put on there will develop a nice patina over time and give it character. To turn the lighter, we need a kit, a blank, bushings, a 3764 drill bit, a barrel trimmer with an adapter blank, and some standard turning tools and supplies. We'll link to all the products we use in the description below. Let's get started. Begin by making a mark on the blank about a quarter inch longer than each tube. Add a perpendicular mark for grain alignment, then cut your blank on the marks. Mount one of the blanks in the chuck using pen drilling jaws, then bring up the tool rest, and turn on the lathe to around 2500 RPM. Now square the end of the blank. Then add a dimple to help center the drill bit. Using a drill chuck with the lathe turned down to around 750 RPM, start drilling the blank. Make sure to back out every half inch to prevent heat buildup. Drill completely through the blank, then do the same with the second blank. Before gluing the brass tubes into the blanks, score them with 220 grit sandpaper to improve the bond. Then glue the tubes into the blanks with thick CA glue. And twist the tubes as you insert them evenly to spread the glue. Spray with activator to cure the glue instantly or let them cure on their own for a few minutes. Now it's time to square the ends of each blank. We'll do this with a barrel trimmer with an adapter blank. To make an adapter blank, measure the inside diameter of the brass tubes with some calipers. Then mount the adapter blank on a pen mandrel. Turn the blank to your measured size. Make sure to use your calipers to verify the diameter. Now slide the adapter blank onto a 7mm pilot shaft. Then, using a vise, trim each end of both blanks until the brass shows. At the lathe, mount the pen blanks on a pen mandrel using the lighter kit bushings. Refer to the instructions that came with your kit for the proper order. Make sure the ends of the blanks we marked earlier are next to each other so the grain aligns nicely when we're done. Now rough the blanks to round with a lathe at around 2500 RPM. Once the blanks are round, turn to your desired shape until the blanks are just proud of the bushings and leave room for sanding. After you finish turning, sand both blanks through at least 600 grit. Between each grit, turn off the lathe and sand the blanks end to end to get rid of any of the radial scratches. Now it's time to finish the blanks. 
I'm going for a rustic look by dyeing this blank with the Chocolate Color Artisan Premium Dye. Use a clean rag and apply a generous amount of dye to the blanks with the lathe off, rotating them by hand. Then turn the lathe on and buff the blanks for a few seconds until the dye is dry. Now remove the blanks from the lathe, making sure to keep the grain aligned. To start the assembly process, press the end cap into the bottom of the long tube. Then roll the retainer spring and fit it into the spacer. Then place the spacer into the long tube. Now press the coupler with the o-ring into the other end of the long tube. Next, press the threaded coupler into the end of the short tube that will screw onto the body of the lighter. Press the cap into the other end of the short tube. And attach the keyring to the lighter cap. Insert the flint and spring into the lighter cartridge. and secure them with the included screw. Now it's time to fill the lighter with fluid. We recommend using a quality fluid such as Ronsonol or Zippo, but don't use butane because it's not gonna work for this lighter. Remember to follow all of the fluid manufacturer's safety guidelines when handling lighter fluid. To start filling, remove the felt pad from the brass tube to reveal the packing material. Slowly saturate the packing material with the lighter fluid and stop when it reaches the top or the packing begins to change color. Don't overfill or the lighter will leak. Finish by replacing the felt pad. The pad will soak up some of the fluid and may feel wet or change color, but that's okay and it doesn't mean your lighter is broken or overfilled. Slide the lighter cartridge back into the long tube until it's flush with the o-ring coupler to complete the lighter. To operate, simply give the spark wheel a quick flick or two and the lighter will ignite. You can adjust the height of the flame by adjusting the length of the wick. Pull it out with some pliers for a larger flame or trim it down for a shorter one. Now you've got a great looking lighter that's ready for everyday carry. Click the link over here to learn more about our lighter kit and let us know in the comments below what you think. Also, subscribe to our channel for the latest in wood turning.